say I'm talking about a mistake I did. Mm. You know, I fell in love with the with the man with the anointing. anointing. I fell in love with his gift, not mm. him. You understand? You know, someone almost married me because they found me powerful. You I understand. was preaching. That is not who I am. Mm. You understand? We 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 fall in love with people's gifts. And now Mercy. you can't marry a gift. Hello yeah. once again. You are more than welcome to our podcast, The Tea World. My name is Queen Rami. And if you are watching me for the very first time, kindly do consider subscribing and follow me on all our social media platforms. We have another episode. And guys, oh guys, when I tell you that people are beautiful, you know, I think social media is not doing her any justice. I mean, the camera is robbing you. Hello, my love. Hey. <laughs> you are so welcome. Are you blushing already? <laughs> you are more than welcome. No, I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Thank you so much mm. for your time. Mm. We are graced by the beautiful, she calls herself King Divine. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, okay, my name is King Divine. Oh, no yes. My King Divine, but my name actually is Divine. Oh. Um, oh. I'm, I'm from the dusty place in Taum in Northwest, okay. in a tiny little village called Mulelema. All right. Um, so I'm born, bred. Mm, like, I'm a <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm a village girl. Mm. Yeah, and then I am a pastor, um, a musician, an actress, um, a mentor. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe I'm trying to give my life as a public figure. It's, it, it's a quite a complicated one. It's a complicated it's a one, but yeah. That's all I can say. I don't know if there's anything. You are leaving else. a lot out, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she is definitely an international brand. Yes. What an yes. honor. You know, thank you for making time once again. Thank you. And talking about your, your background a little bit, how did you grow up? Yo, um, Osreme, I grew up tough. Uh, it was tough because uh, my my parents are pastors. Oh, yes, my dad is a pastor. Oh, so you know, growing up as a PK, mm. you know, it, it, and it, how come a pastor tough. never births a pastor? Well, Grace, Grace, <laughs> it's Grace. <laughs> my mother normally likes to say, "My womb is blessed." Indeed, it's blessed. Amen. Because even my younger sister, she's also in the ministry. Oh, the one who comes after me. That's beautiful. Yes, so I believe it's it's, it's a family thing. God yeah. just said, "I want the whole family." I want you all. I want you all. Mm. So yes, I. It was tough growing up, you know, um, as a as a PK because a lot is expected yes. from you. And as a young child, you you feel like, but these people are so hard on me. Mm. But lucky enough, it was apostolic church, so they didn't have so much expectations. But oh. there are still some expectations. You mm. know? A pastor's child should, a pastor's child shouldn't. Should. Mm. So at some point, you know, I was not allowed to go to clubs, you know. Yeah. I was not allowed to, <laughs> you know, have a drink. I was not allowed. Um, but personally, growing up, I made a decision by myself that I don't want to drink mm. alcohol. It's that one had nothing thing. to do with my parents. It was a personal decision that mm. I don't want to drink alcohol. And up until now. So, and then it was tough, man. It was really tough. But mm. looking back, I really look back and I'm like, it wasn't really bad. Yeah, actually. it's actually the way it saving shaping you from me. <laughs> yeah. Because who knows? Probably I could have been somebody that I'm not today, you know. And my mom was very strict. I remember my mom, um, if six o'clock, it can hey. hit and you are not in the yard. One minute past. I'm telling you, she will <laughs> scream at you. When you appear from afar, she will say, start preparing yourself, you know. <laughs> For the beatings. The beatings <laughs> of you your know, life. Serious. And yeah, my dad is the sweeter one. My mm. dad was, a, my mom was the tough one. Okay. She's the one that really gave us tough love. Mm. And my dad is the more understanding one, mm. you know. So my growing up was, wasn't was really bad. It had it, its own share of good and mm. and bad, you know. But it it's, I can describe it as tough. You know, you know I, I love the toughness. For me, mm. I love it. Look at what came out of it. I mm. mean, you know. But the fact that um, it's a privilege to grow up with both parents. Mm. Some of us have never gone through that. Mm. So do you think the expectations were just way too much? I believe you touched a bit on that, that people mm. expect you to be this and that. Mm. But a lot of PKs 
go through so much? Mm. What were the expectations? Well, one of the expectations is you are expected to always get it right. Mm. You know? And it's inhuman. Like, there is no one who can get it right. You are expected you to, know? To, to, to be in order. You are expected to isolate yourself from mm. the other, you know, company of your same age people. Mm. You are expected to, to, to think right. You are expected to, you know, get married, get pregnant, uh, graduate, like graduate, you know, you yeah. know they, but I think it's a good thing because the church expects the best out of you. I think mm. they really pushes you to think outside of the box, but mm. at some point it also, it also becomes a challenge to you as an individual as a person. because you, you cannot really live to people's expectation. That's I right. think that's the tough thing. I think that's why PKs end up becoming a mess because mm. they, they feel like, but if everybody else they can understand you know? their mistakes. Why can't people understand my mistakes? Mm. You understand? And so, mm, to air tough. is human, you know? Mm. Sorry about that. Um, I want to touch on the fact that is it true that a lot of PKs are unhappy? <laughs> 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 I got you there. <laughs> well, Tell us more. <laughs> okay, I think that is true because. Number one, I've okay, I've met a lot of PKs that are not happy. Yeah. Because remember, too. we we see the real person. Mm -hmm. at no home. anointing at all. Yes. Mm. We, we 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 are not staying with the anointed men only. We're also staying with the human father, being. Father. Exactly. We're staying with the father, we're staying with a person, we're mm. staying with a man. Mm. We're staying with a woman, we're staying with with an individual. Mm. So we see beyond the pulpit. We see uh, the behind. Yeah. We don't. We are not only attracted by what we see on on the pulpit on That's Sunday right. and 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 end. Mm -hmm. We we get to see the angry man at home. We get yeah. to see a man who reprimand. Yeah. We get to see a man who's in love. We mm. get to see a man who who's naughty to his yeah. wife. You yeah. know, we see the human side mm. of of your pastor that yeah. you value so much. You know, mm. and we, we know the family secrets. We know nice. the things that they are doing. You know, we we know everything. Mm. So sometimes um, for some PKs, you get shocked when they get shocked that their father is this loving to this group yes. of people. But at home, the father is not the same. You I know? think that is why maybe the Bible emphasizes that you, your first church is your family. Yes. You must master your wife, you master your children, and then it must flow to the church. But I think now it's it's vice versa. Mm. They mistreat their, their oh, family members, right. and then out there they are doing one. And then PKs are like... Mm. This man you guys speak of, we I don't, don't know, know that him. smile. You we know? don't know him. Mm. But in my case, I can't say I wasn't happy. I was actually happy. Mm. One of the reasons I was happy is that uh, my dad wasn't always uh, at the church because he was working in oh, Rustenbeck. Okay. So he'd only come during holidays, Easter, mm. December. So most of the time, I grew up staying with my grandmother and my auntie. Oh. So I, I was happy because I only saw them, you know, Mm, that particular to, time mm. and to be very honest with you my dad was the most loving my dad really made the spiritual journey very easy for me That's and beautiful. i never saw my dad as something he was in the church that he wasn't at home oh wow that Character. is a blessing that That's is a, a blessing huge one um wh whatever my dad was in the church he was at home he and was, was even more at mm, home. That's beautiful. Mm. I was actually about to ask you about the beauty of seeing, mm. you know, having your spiritual parents be your mm. biological. Mm. I love that. Having yeah. a father who is an example. Mm. So has that shaped the person that you became in relationships, having grown under a father who is solid in who he is? Listen, I when it comes to the department of <laughs> <laughs> relationships, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I love because that one hits us all. You know, you are anointed. You are, listen, you from a prayer warrior house. That department hit all of us. Yeah, but I think I used to be very picky. Oh, I used okay. to be very, very picky. Like I was specific. Mm. One of the specification was I need a man who prays. I need a man that's going to continue where my dad left off. Mm. I need a man that um, believes in the things that I grew up seeing. Mm. You know, I grew up uh, being taught this. 
this I I was I was you know I was taught Christ and that's it. That's There's nothing it. else. So I don't want a man that's gonna introduce me to a whole world that I don't know. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it, it 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 I was really picky. But in the journey of me being picky, I also took. Uh, I think I I I inherited my dad at some point. Mm -hmm. My dad is a very <laughs> generous man. He's okay. very kind. Mm -hmm. He's very. My dad is is when the people say, "Hey, this person is 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 horrible." Mm -hmm. My dad says, "But he's a human." Yeah. So I all I I I think that department I at some point made bad decisions based based on a good heart, based on mm. the fact that if they rejected, are rejected by everybody, mm. then where should they run to? Eish. You know. So I ended up compromising a lot, but I never compromised the fact that I need somebody who is in Christ. Somebody who is prayerful, somebody mm. who, who's because I knew I knew at, at a young age that I was called, so I Amen. needed somebody that's gonna align mm. with with that, you know. But I, <laughs> I'm telling you, I I go bad. <laughs> Having known that you are called, um, don't you feel like you were putting a lot of pressure on the type of guys mm. that you would meet at that time? I'm saying this in reference to the fact that. You are still young, so mm. obviously you are still grooming yourself, your mm, calling. Mm. So, what was the gap there? Ash, you know, um, the gap is that you you become. How can I put it? Mm. You become. How can I say? You 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 wa you you are too watchful. Mm. You know, you, you watch. Day. You <laughs> know, you watch, and especially uh, spiritually. Mm. I'm somebody that get ticked off very quick when I pick something spiritually. When I pick, when I see you doing something that is something I've never seen my dad doing, mm. it ticks me off, and I think that's unfair. Very. Because mm. yeah, because it, it's there's it's not everybody that's my dad. You know, there's only my dad is the only one. Yeah, <laughs> and I think I you know I think we should also learn to love people for who they are that's and right. get to know them for who they are and you know um, get to understand that every person has their own journey mm. in life. You just need to understand somebody's journey mm. and decide if you wanna be part of their journey mm. or not. So it was very. I feel like yeah, growing up you realize that, but I was a bit unfair. Mm. You know, because I I want to see my dad in in, 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 in my men. partner, mm. and that is a problem. You know, it's a huge problem. Mm. Mm. I mean, I feel like yeah, even the expectations become way too high. Yeah, you know. Mm. So, but have you ever, by any inch, met your father in any of your partners? A little bit. It can't be everything. Yeah, um, I think I did. Okay. I think I did. I think there's a because um, I didn't really even date much. Really, mm. I don't have a lot of ex partners. Mm. There's just few of them, really few. Um, but in in the few, there is one. Um, who was very, he was very kind. Mm. I think I'm attracted to kindness because I grew up seeing very my dad being kind. Mm. That's one, one character that I like, mm. you know, in a man, kindness. Very important. You know, so he was very kind. Uh, my dad is soft spoken. He's mm. not what he's not that man that makes yeah. noise, you mm. know, and he's very calm. So I needed a calm man, somebody mm. who's calm, somebody who, who is very, you know, who's collective. Mm. Somebody that addresses me with love. Because no matter what I do, my dad always addresses me in love, you know. Oh, even if he rebukes me, I still find love in his rebuke. Sure. You know, even when he's mad, he's angry, even in his beatings, I found love. You could see he doesn't <laughs> beat you because... Uh, and my dad only, like, I think that happened once in my lifetime. My dad has never really raised his hand on me. Mm. I think it was one particular time. It was once in my life. Mm. But even in that, I still found love wow. in it i understood that he's doing this because he loves me you mm. know he didn't even do it to actually hurt me and break my bones mm. you know like how we parents sometimes beat our our children with anger i didn't even pick anger from him wow. i just pick correction so wow. i think i'm looking f I, I i i once had a man like that obviously no beatings <laughs> I can't yeah, go no, uh -uh. No, that is out mm. but yeah i i think i did i think i i once did that's beautiful. Mm. Now let's go back to the expectations of the church mm. when it comes to PKs. What is it that you struggled a lot with? Also, we are going to come to the point of friendships as mm. a PK. The church is very judgmental. That's true. Uh, but when I mean the church, I'm not, I, I don't mean the whole church at large. Mm. Certain individuals in church, 
because sometimes if we say the church is like we are generalizing yeah, everybody and it's like not that. everyone and it's not everybody i can find you you are in the church you think different mm -hmm. everybody in the body of christ the same as churches a, yes, not every we church have, is a cult exactly mm. we have different type of people with different type of mindset mm -hmm. you know in church so there are group of people in the church mm. that would 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 be judgmental you know they are looking at you and then <laughs> remember <laughs> there are mothers in church that wants to use you an example as as an mm. example to Ooh. their children hey look at divine you know she's doing this and that and you you know so when you fail they don't have anybody you know to 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 hold their children mm. with so it becomes a problem so they 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 want to the problem again with some individuals in church is they have um, uh, uh, this idea that as a pk you you know we have a set life mm. yeah, like okay she must go to school finish mm. you know she must then find a brother who will marry like they've set a life for us they you didn't know? leave a space for god to be god mm -mm. in a pk's and life and for you to be you to be you calling. to go through your own challenges mm. to go through your own falls mm. to go through your own mistakes to you learn know? because life is 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 it's, it's it, that's life there's no one who can say i've got it all figured out mm -mm. we all have our own ups and downs so all i think us. that the mistake the church i um i, I did to, towards me specifically mm. is not allowing god to have his story in my life oh, they god. wanted to to write the story for me mm. but i became so stubborn i i'm, I'm so <laughs> grateful that i'm stubborn you yeah know? i'm very stubborn i i told myself from day one i said because my dad actually taught me from day one he said to me never ever ever leave serve god based on people oh because yes because if you can go by people trust you me the journey will be shorter than mm. you think. you'll end up even leaving god you you leave god mm. because you're trying to please people mm. i think i decided from way back that i want to please god i don't yeah, want to please people that's powerful you know i decided way back before i could even accept my calling i mm. told myself listen i am going to to please God. I Ish. don't know how is God pleased. I don't know how we'll see that God is pleased. Eventually I will see it. He will you know? lead you. And I think I lived by peace from way back. I, I started having peace within me that mm. this is what I would do. And I, I, I became faithful to my decision. Wow. Mm. So you didn't have any reason to perform? No. <laughs> perform for whom? <laughs> <laughs> for the what? <laughs> okay, uh, you, you pointed out the fact that, um, yeah, they want to point you as an example. Mm. So let's get into the juice of this video. Mm. The fact that now the example became pregnant. Mm. Woo! Tell us about Out it. Out of wedlock. Oh, yes. Oh, mm. yes. Mm. So my story is I accepted. Remember, I'm from, I told you earlier, I'm from Apostolic Church. Yes. Mm. Then when I was in high school, I think I was in high school, then I... I found myself it falling in love with the born again um, mm. type of church. Mm. You know, I I I I think Christ found me and led me to that direction. Okay. So, and then I left from high school. Then I went to tertiary. When I was in tertiary, it became serious. That's when it became very very serious. Mm. And I remember going to my dad and my mom, and I told them, "Hey, listen, I think this is the direction of faith that I want to take. Mm. I understand that this is a, a family church. Mm. You know, I grew up here. They molded me. And actually, I, if I have the opportunity, I'll tell you about why I'm grateful that I started in in, in Postola. Postola taught me a lot mm. of the things that have making me who I am in the Bazalwani church. Mm. You know. Oh, sorry. Mm. The brother was Muzalwaniza. I the, just want to get the, it the, right. The, the father of my child. The, the person that you were dating, yeah. At yes, that, oh, okay, yes, yes, yeah. yes. So when I was in tertiary, I accepted the Lord. I started going to, I don't want to mention the church. No I started going to, um, you know, a born again Christian church. Mm. They trained me. Then I started as a worshiper. I was like, no, let me just, because I can sing. Let oh, you can. <laughs> just give us a little bit of a melody. Let me put you on the spot. <laughs> Guys, please follow this queen on all her social media platforms. You will find her on TikTok, preaching the word of God, undiluted, <laughs> you yeah. know. And even on Facebook. Anyway, she will tell us later. Let's yes. get back to our topic. Yes. So um, then I had to announce to my family that I think I'm leaving the the this postola. Mm. Not that postola has done anything wrong. Yeah. But I I make a decision. A journey, I'm making yeah. a decision. Mm. So I became a born again and started accepting my call. 
started to build myself in that direction, yeah. right? And then my family, my sister followed, my parents also, they left Postal. Imagine mm. my dad as a whole pastor of Postal, like church, he had to go and mm. tell them that. <laughs> okay, without I'm sounding controversial. There. Yeah. So are you saying my Postal are not? Let's no, balance they, it a bit. No, they are fine. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong. Mm. I can point at Postal and say, mm. Postola has done this to me. Rather, I'm grateful to Apostolic oh, Church. Wow. It taught me a lot. It taught me really a lot. Mm. Um, li listen, I just chose to be to follow this journey because my soul found it there. Not that I left there because there was there something, was something wrong. wrong. Yeah. So that. also, my dad followed. You mm. know, my dad also said, "No, I think." You know, we prayed about it, and then as a family, we decided that we want to leave Postola, but we left peacefully. We didn't mm, leave because somebody drama. gossiped, the, because there was drama. Mm. We literally went to our grandfather and we told them, Listen, Bishop, uh, may his soul rest in peace. We told them, Bishop, yeah. we want to follow this faith. Mm. And he blessed us and he let us go. Wow. You know, that's how we left. Mm. So that's how I met the, the baby daddy. Mm, okay. I met him at my sister's church. My sister was attending this church, Yabazelwani. Mm. Um, then I, one day, I, was, I mean, I was a Joburg girl. I, was, I always came here to hustle music. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I was with Abu Arthur, Abu Kelly Kumala, okay. Abu Donald. I was singing, you know. Mm. And then one time it was Easter, my sister invited me, said, oh, come to, to our church. Mm. Okay. Then I went to, I was very single, very single, you know, a born again gain on fire for the Lord. Yeah. And then I went to church. When I went to church, ah, I see this brother. Mm. You know, he's when you know, fire. you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was on fire for the Lord. He was on fire. He's a preacher. That man knows the word like mm. I don't know. Mm. And he inspired me to know the word, actually, to read my Bible and study. I remember we would lock ourselves in the room and people would think maybe we're doing something. Mm. And to be quite honest, we were not even, not even a kiss we were there studying yeah. the word. Wow. Like we would tell ourselves today we are finishing the book of John mm. or we are finishing the book of what, what, you know. And next week he will ask me, what is the book of John saying? Mm. He, would, he would write test for me, ask wow. me if this scripture, where do you find it, you know. So mm. that kind of relationship, I saw it as like, wow, this, oh, this is it, this is it mm. you know. <laughs> like this is the one. Yeah. Yeah, but then behind that, remember, they're still a human being. They're still the flesh. They're still a human mm. being. Um, and I, okay, fast forward, um, I got pregnant and the but, but funny thing before is, we go into deeply into uh, them, uh, where did the, we are praying without the flesh being triggered mm. and now I'm pregnant. Oh, Balance okay. So let they, me take it step by step. Now. Yeah. So, okay. I see the brother, you know, he, he's interested and then. I, as usual, the, the Easter finished, I came back to Jobek. Mm. And then he got my contact from my sister. Mm. And he's telling me, you know what? I think I this is how I, I feel. <laughs> yes, yeah, this is how I feel about you. And, and, and. Mm. and I jumped on it. I think the mistake I did, I fell in love with the, the, the cold man. Oh. You understand? I think I fell in love with the man on the pulpit mm. and not the, the, the real person because I'm not marrying a man on the pulpit. Mm -mm. I'm marrying a real person. You Don't know? you think that's a serious thing that needs to be fixed in it, the body of Christ? It needs to be spoken. Mm. It needs to, to be an awareness because I think a lot of ladies, we, we fall in love with the... We, I'm talking experience. Me, mm. at least, I'm not talking about something that... Somebody tells me I'm ta I'm talking about a mistake I did. Mm. You know, I fell in love with the with the man with the anointing. anointing. I fell in love with his gift, not mm. him. You understand? You know, someone almost married me because they found me powerful. You I understand. was preaching. That is not who I am. Mm. You understand? We 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 fall in love with people's gifts, and Mercy. now you can't marry a gift. Hey, there's you no rabbi <laughs> when the rent is not being paid. You marry a mm. human being. You marry a, somebody who has opinion, somebody who has his own demons. Somebody who can change. Somebody that is dealing with his own family generational Traumas. curses oh and, and, and. Oh God. You know, so marriage, you, you may get, the gift of God is strictly for God. Mm. It's oh. not for marriage. Can you just look at that camera and tell them, oh, I <laughs> love that. Ooh, I even got goosebumps, guys. It wow. doesn't happen often. <laughs> wow. The, ooh, yeah. Give it the, to us. The gift of God, mm. when God gives you sin, Singing. He's not giving you singing for you 
to get married because you can sing. Ooh. The singing is strictly for God and for God's ministry. And the moment somebody marries you because you can sing, mm. they are marrying what is of God. Mm. And because it's not yours, it will never be yours. You will never find satisfaction. Sure. Because in the, in, in, in the house, when we need kids, when we need to make babies, when we need money on the food, we don't use the singing. Mm. Sure. So the sure. gift is strictly for God. Mm. And the mistake we do, we marry people for what belongs to God. Oh, Oh, you understand? are getting deeper now. Oh my God. Yeah. I and love that's that. a mistake I did. And I learned, mm -hmm. I learned by a lesson. You know, I learned from my mistake. Mm. I didn't know what I was, I'm talking about today. I had to learn it yeah. from making those, that kind of a mistake. Mm. So I, I think I fell in love with, with his gift, with his anointing. I fell in love with the men on the pulpit. Mm. You understand? Yes. The men are signed. Mm. I didn't fall in love with a man who is, you know, who has his own physical um physical i don't know problems mm. so as time went and listen our our relationship also was a distant relationship oh yeah so in other words most of the time when i see him i see him in the pulpit oh do you that get is, what i'm trying to say now. yes mm. so i keep falling in love more and more with the gift i keep falling yes. more in love with the gift and then um because it, it we, sh we, we, we we were only seeing each other for a short period of time so then, okay, and then flesh took over, mm. of course, because sometimes, you know, that's the thing I want to talk about again to say temptation sometimes, it, it, it's, 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 it's the devil who took an opportunity for something you presented. Yeah. Because if you lock yourself in a room with a man, mm. you are giving the devil an opportunity to say, uh, It is a huge one. That yes. is why I was saying, oh, you were able not to do anything. You understand. Mm. At first, yes, we managed, but in the long run, we couldn't anymore. Mm. Flesh took over. Mm. It was expected. I mean, there's two of us in the room. What mm. do we expect is going to happen? You know? You understand? And we can't even say, oh, it's a mistake. Mm -mm. We can't even say, oh, it's the devil. What are you doing? We're in, in a room, room with, locked a man. with a man. You get what I'm trying hmm. to say. And yeah, that happened. And I, I remember my parents, when they found out, I don't know how they found out uh, in the earliest of our relationship, they found out that I'm, I'm with him. Mm. And my parents were very disappointed because oh. this is a man with a very, very horrible history. Mm. A very, Remy, when I say a horrible history, I mean mm. a horrible history. Yeah, no. You understand? <laughs> don't go deeper, women. I don't God. even want to go <laughs> to the details. Yeah, but, I get it. But for me, I overlooked the history. Remember your generous. And yes, mm. and I'm like, no. But he is a changed man. He received Christ. And that's a mistake I did. The second mistake I did yes. to think that when somebody has received Christ, they are already ready for marriage. Mm -mm. Sometimes they've received Christ, but Christ is still working on them. Mm. Christ is still cleaning them. Christ is still having a long journey with them. Oh, yeah. But Rena, we think, oh, because he received Christ, she's ready for marriage. Yes. He's good for marriage. But sometimes the person is still dealing with the Lord. Remember, church is like a spiritual hospital. hospital. Mm. Somebody is, is, you know, just because somebody of cancer, you see them starting to walk, then you take them home immediately. Oh. They're going to die when they Don't get die. home. There are some that still need to be in the hospital until they are, the doctor declares them completely healed to go home. So Correct. the mistake I did as well was that I I overlooked the past, which I think as Christian we should. We shouldn't mm. judge people based on their past. Mm. And I was True. like, no, but now he's received Christ. Now he's no longer this person that I hear about, you know. And I, I, I focused on who he was at that moment, not who he used to be. Mm. And my parents were focused on, listen, we know what, what this man is capable of. Mm. And I used to discourage them and say, but we are born again. We should give every person a chance you mm. know, to, to let them be the one to, to, you know, to destroy the trust we, we placed on them mm. you know so i was stubborn like i said i'm stubborn <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i stayed mm. in the relationship um and that really and my relationship with him costed me my relationship with my parents oh, they no. felt like i chose him over them and which i actually did mm. i actually did and my my relationship with my mom started stumbling you yes. know it, it stumbled a lot Remy. Mm. like a lot there was war after war there was arguments where to a point whereby i took my clothes and i left home mm. you know i was just i was just a, i was crazy i look back and i was like i was <laughs> i was crazy you know was it love i think it <laughs> was <laughs> love <laughs> 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 
God. Yo. <laughs> you know, and I came back home. My dad was always the one to always fix the, the mm. problems. There was problems after problems. And then just, you know, just in a short period of time, then I fell pregnant. I found out that I'm pregnant. Mm. And I'm like, Jesus, what happened? Eesh. You know, I remember I had the shock of my life. You know, I was so shocked when they told me at the clinic that, oh, the reason you've been sick, because I, I felt sick. Mm. I couldn't even sing. I couldn't even go attend my gigs. I could, there was just Eesh. a sharp pain. Mm. I couldn't eat. You know, the sense of smell is different. I'm vomiting. Mm. But in my mind, trust to me, there is no that thing that says pregnancy. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, mm. I'm not thinking pregnancy. You know, and then... I decided, no, man, I have a, a best friend of mine. I was like, no, man, let me go. You know, I will sit here. Maybe I ate something poisonous. Let mm. me go. And then when I go, of course, the, the, the procedure, they start with pregnancy tests. Yeah, and, that's and. the first. Mm. And then when I went back, when I came back, you know, I went to get rid of my urination. When I come back, the nurse is like, you are pregnant. You. And I, I looked at her and I'm like, eh? <laughs> and she's like, you want to take another one? You can I was Ooh. so shocked. I was so, trust me, I remember the shock. Mm. And I'm pregnant at the time where even my relationship with the guy is already stumbling because Eesh. of he can pick that my family is it's doesn't against. like him. Mm. Yeah, so already there's war. He's, bare. He's in Northwest, I'm in Joburg. Mm. So I have to pick up my phone and tell the guy, hey, this is what's happening. And remember, this is a man that now he's introduced in the church as a young pastor in training. He's oh. been trained to be a pastor. Eesh. You understand? Yeah. I am now already in the worship team mm. in the same church. Mm. You know? Mm. And we are wondering, how are we? But I like the fact that for both of us, abortion was never an option. I was about to come to that. Mm. Do you think there is pressure on a lot of young people who are born again the minute they think about Mm. The fact that they are pregnant, mm. abortion is a, a mm. choice to hide, for them. Mm. To hide. There are two things that are, that are happening in the church. Mm. One, Sis Remy, is that I get pregnant and the guy, like the mistake we could have done, and quickly we get married to hide the pregnancy. Oh. <laughs> you know they do that. And they divorce, eh? They that do that one. because you don't marry for that. You can't mm. marry because you're trying to hide you know, mm. so that, 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 that is one of the mistakes people do. The second mistake is we, we, we are bored. We are bored. We are bored. And I think there are three. The third is mm. prevention. You can mm. never tell that, oh, she's mm. busy, but she's but able she's to control it. Mm. Mm. So for me, I, I decided, I said, you know what? Um, I knew what I was doing. Yes. It's not a mistake. Mm. Um, I, so I, why were you shocked that you were pregnant? If. I was sure for personal reason. For number one, I I I have irregular periods, mm, okay. so I've, I've been having it for the longest time. Oh. So whereby sometimes the doctors will tell me, because me I can spend years without seeing my periods. I can oh. spend the whole year without seeing my periods. Oh. And we know biologically, biologically, what does that mean? Mm. It means for you to 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 ovulate, it's not easy. It's a problem. You don't mm. just ovulate, yeah. So that that's the thing. Um, I, I didn't think, I used to think, oh, maybe I'm infertile, you know. Mm. I, I filled my head with such kind of things. Yeah. Maybe I'm infertile because sometimes I'll go to the doctors, they will tell me, hey, people with your condition, they struggle, mm. obviously. Well, uh, not seeing your periods, yeah, you just know you something struggle. is wrong. Yeah, so I, I, that's one of the reasons I didn't think Oh, pregnancy. yeah, it makes sense. Yes, mm. I'm thinking, ah, maybe me, I'll be one of those that one day God grace me <laughs> when I'm old and then I have a child. <laughs> yeah. You know? Mm. Yes, and and yeah, and he was the, the first man that I, because we didn't plan to, to be intimate. Mm. So obviously there was no time for, preventions to think of these you know it just happened mm. like fast without planning it so i didn't think pregnancy because of that and then when it happened i was like yay oh. and part of me i was excited to find out that i can actually conceive Have a child. Mm. because one thing that my dad told me he said we are unhappy that you are you, you are not married and you are pregnant. Mm. But one thing we are proud of you is that you didn't fall pregnant as a teenager. Mm. You finished your metric. You were, we took you to tertiary. You graduated mm. and you falling pregnant working. You, no. you, are, you know you are independent. Mm. You working. You 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 doing your own things. Mm. You know. But still, we are unhappy because you were supposed to wait. 
yeah, until, until you, you get married. married. Mm. So, yeah, and then we never opted for abortion. So you spoke about the third thing to say prevention. Mm. Yeah, so for me, we never thought of, listen, we're going to hide this. We told ourselves, this is a shameful thing we did. Mm. And if it means we need to, re to be rebuked, it's expected. It's okay. mm. And if it means we need to be reprimanded, we need to be punished in the church. We need to be told that, listen, take some time off as a pastor, take your time off as a, as a worshiper. Mm. We knew what we were doing. Mm. So we told ourselves together that we, we're going to take whatever that comes with what we did. I like that. So mm. when it comes to you, the shame and everything, didn't mm. it affect your walk with God? Especially for him, being a young pastor, mm. I mean, at that time, how, how did you deal with that? How was your spiritual life at that time? Mm. I'm grateful because my spiritual life that time, I was still a baby Christian. Mm. Number one, I was still denying my gift. I was. I still didn't want this whole. We are prophetess. coming to that. <laughs> hey, I didn't hey, we want. Are denying. <laughs> I, we are denying. Yo, women of God, I wanted nothing to do. I just wanted to be a singer, you know. Mm. You know, and on top of that, just a normal singer, you know. You know, because I know the experience of being a pastor's child. Mm. So I was like, you here, I can be a normal yeah. human being, you know. Yeah. So my spiritual life was still. I was still a baby, mm. you know, spiritually. Um, so I was still growing in the Lord. I was still learning a lot. Um, so it didn't really, to be honest, it didn't really affect me a lot because number one, my father is not a pastor in that church I was Anymore. attending. Mm. It would have affected me if I was still in the same church where my dad is a pastor. Yeah. You, you, you know what it could have came with. So mm. I, I consider myself really blessed because I was in a church where my dad was not even attending that church. Oh, mm. okay. It was just me and my sister mm. that were attending that church. So okay. the person we were responsible to, so with my family, we dealt it as a family. Mm. You know, I Did they hide them. you for nine months? Never, <laughs> never. I okay. was a worshiper until... <laughs> The time I felt like I can't be able to care, mm. oh, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right. the first thing I did, yeah, oh, my parents had to be told, and then we told the pastor mm. of the church, and the pastor said, "You know what? I'm proud of the two of you." Um. He okay. Obviously, he rebuked us, mm. told us what you do is wrong, and mm. and and. But at the same time, he never crushed us. Mm. He also said, "Listen, this is the situation. Let's be positive about mm. it." He said to me. Um, I'm proud of the two of you that you guys didn't think of killing, didn't think yeah. of aborting. You took responsibility mm. you, and you own up to your responsibility. Now that's being a Christian. Yeah, to say is. I have fallen and I admit that I have fallen mm. and now I am stand to be corrected. You understand? I love that. Mm. So coming to that statement that you are saying, which message must we preach to our young girls who mm. are young like you? Are we going to tell them prevent? Mm -hmm. Remember, they are not supposed to even engage mm -hmm. in that. But what if they find themselves pregnant? Mm -hmm. Which message are we giving to them? Mm -hmm. I mean, you went through it. If you were to deal with a younger divine, mm -hmm. what would you say? To be honest with you, um, that's the thing about the generation of, of now. Mm -hmm. um, they are already doing it. Mm. You know, they go to church. So they're sad. already doing it. Mm. And I'm putting myself in the list because I also did the same thing. We are thing. all there. Mm. Mm. I also did the same thing. I also knew the truth, but I went ahead before. and I did it. Mm. And my parents did tell me no intimacy before marriage, mm. but I did it anyway. Mm. You understand? So I would say as a pastor, number one, the first priority Obviously, we would advise the same advice we got from our parents. Mm. Keep yourself until Pure. marriage. Mm. That is the first thing. And there are there are women and men who are willing to do that. And they are doing it. And they are doing so well. Oh, well. You understand. Um, and the second one to say, okay, those who are already doing it, it there is possibility of you to stop. Mm. You understand? You can stop. Repentance. You know, because love is not found in the legs. In mm, the legs mm, of the woman. It's actually far. Mm, we find that now in mm, marriage that, oh, it's not even a plus. Mm, you mm, know? Mm. And another advice is that, fine, because they're going to do it anyway, mm. whether we preach to them and whether we, 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 we advise them, mm. they are still going to do it anyway. They will. So because you will do it anyway, if you are not ready for a child, then the government is providing preventions, mm. you know. At least for you to kill, rather don't, don't 
conceive at all mm. you understand because i am listen i am 100 percent against abortion yeah i don't i don't believe there's any child that's a mistake that's true i accept a person was raped mm. you understand there we can say okay the person can say this was a mistake mm. but i would really but the first thing i would say please if you can keep yourself until mm. you find the right person Mm. I love that. So talking about keeping yourself, I mean, there's also the spiritual aspect of sex. Mm. Some of us, we are only knowing about it now mm. that, oh, 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 can you give them like all the ladies, all the young girls will be watching this and the importance of keeping yourself, the spiritual part of it now. Mm. It's no longer about you being pregnant, but about all the soul ties that mm. comes with that one night stand, that one guy mm. at the club, you know, you are saying, ah, I'm just passing. It's just, mm. The spiritual aspect of it, it's Yo, very bad. You know, you, you, you are touching a very sensitive topic mm. that the church does not want, does not address a lot. At all. Because what's about it, they will offend us, you know. <laughs> but I feel it's a topic that must be spoken. Thank you for, you know, for asking that question. Mm. Listen, um, I got intimate out of out of wedlock. Mm. I got intimate uh, with somebody that today is not my husband, mm. right? And I'm going to tell you something. I used to suffer spiritual husband. Oh, no. I used mm. to see myself always having intimacy with this white man there is a fish and I, I and 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 it in the dream i'm not gonna lie it felt so great it yeah. was one the great, mermaid was <laughs> listen the mermaid was, was doing something you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, was so you. crazy <laughs> and i was still very young and i didn't understand but part of something in me told me there's something wrong with mm. with the kind of dreams that i'm having and it, it, it you know it happened repeatedly mm. and trust you me there are a lot of opportunities that i missed that i could have got and i could see that this opportunity was mine Ish. but something would happen and then that opportunity is grabbed out of me mm -hmm. they i i suffered a spirit of delay Ish. i suffered um you know loss of opportunities mm -hmm. i suffered a whole lot of things and i can mm -hmm. tell you it was because of exchanging because when you have intimacy with a person whatever they suffer even generationally Ish. you are exchanging it's an exchange yeah. whether you like it or not is an exchange whether it's a one night stand or not you are getting something you are getting something mm. that is why now women nowadays to to you know to capture men they do something in their private parts and then they use intimacy mm. to actually and you find a man available beggar me now yeah. now they use it they insert it in, in, a, in a woman's as uh, private part mm. and you see that it really works and it worked because there was what there was intimacy yeah so every time you have intimacy with a person just know there is something you are taking mm -hmm. there's something you are releasing Ish. you know you are giving somebody something and then they are also taking away from you. it's not even about spams this one no, is, i'm not talking about yeah. siemens mm. i'm talking about spiritual battles Ish. you will find yourself losing things that were for you Yo. you'll find yourself but hey they are hiring people there the moment you bring yours Mm. You find yourself. Listen, Sister Remy, I suffered because Ish. of spirits. Oh, I think I think she should come back just for this specific mm. topic because this is touching me so mm. much. Imagine dealing with a spirit of delay mm. when you knew God mm. showed you who you really are, but mm. because you had to engage mm. with that one guy who struggled with being a sangoma in his family mm. line, now it affects you. Somebody who struggled with theft somebody who's struggling so because of there's a spirit of of theft mm. the devil took so much from you he oh stole gosh. so much from me mm. i was supposed to be overseas a long time ago but it happened nine years later oh my god you, you understand? know what? i can't handle this goosebumps anymore <laughs> my god it happened nine nine years later because of what uh, of 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 exchanging spirits with Ish. a person you understand and i remember 
uh, this certain person, I believe that I gave him as a good spirit and he inserted. You know, sometimes if you have a good spirit in you, let's say you are pure mm. and then you go exchange with somebody who has spirits, mm. they are taking purity from you Ish. and then you are intaking spirits. Mm. You understand? Because something has to be left inside mm. of you. So, True. so listen, your woman of God, I... I, I saw the devil stealing so much from me. And then I then realized one of the people I had intercourse with, mm. he has a spirit, he, he, he's suffering stealing, he's suffering robbing people, mm. he's suffering, you know, you know, he has a whole lot of things. Mm. So what do I expect? You are inheriting all that. What do I expect? Mm. And I believe that that time I was really pure. Mm. You know, I believe so. I might be wrong. Because the guy, after, you know, exchanging with me, started having this honor. You know, people start honoring him. That's what you carried. That's what I carried, mm. I believe. The people who start honoring him. People, I saw the guy glowing. Mm. And you know, when he started glowing, then he started getting, you know, women, he started getting attention now. Oh. Yeah. They want the polished thing. You Where know? were they when Bamba yes. And then the mm. women flooded to him. And that was the fall of our relationship yes. when the cheating started happening. Mm. And, 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 and it, came with, it came with abuse, physical abuse, with verbal abuse. It's, you know? It's a um, lot. Yeah. And then that's when I said, no, 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 no. I cannot. As a Christian woman, as a pastor, mm. let's say you are in a marriage now and you are pure. Mm. But then you meet a partner who has that weakness where now they are flourishing, women are all over him, there's no self-control. Mm. Why is the church telling women to pray harder? <laughs> That's an when error. When your husband is busy. <laughs> I mean, is it? I remember. Oh, Let, I remember let's find God well. Listen, you know? I, remember, yeah, I remember me when I was, because remember, I, I, there was, I was in a relationship and, I decided, I was like, listen, I'm out. I'm talking about the the the, the baby, mm, the baby daddy. Mm. I said, listen, I'm out. And one elder came to me and he was like, no, um, you know, you can't give up because you guys, we forgave you with the fact that, yeah. you know, you did this out Imagine. of wedlock. And now, you know, <laughs> you need to really, and he's, she's saying this to me after I've opened a protection order. Mm. You know, and he's like, and she's like, no, you need to pray. And I was like, Mama, you have a daughter, right? Mm. You can tell him to have him, and she can pray. Yeah. For me, I decide and we'll to go. see if a corpse this can This is pray. my life, mm. and I, I feel like I have the rise to decide what I want and whom I want in my life. Mm. And I don't think this is my life. And I remember, um, you know, I told myself I can pray for him to be okay, but mm. doesn't mean he has to be mine. You understand? I can pray for him to be well in life. I can pray for him to find a partner and for him to not do the things he's done to me. Yeah. But it does not mean he's going to change for me. And mm. listen, I knew that I can't change him. You, you can't, can't change, change a human person. being. You know, you That's cannot change work. a person. You know, a change happens when somebody tells themselves that I want Within. to change. Mm. You know, mm. um, even God, even God, you, you must go to God Power and say, choice. listen, God, I'm ready to change, mm. you know? So I knew that I don't have the powers to can change. My prayers can't change anyone, mm -mm. you know? We are he not that has, powerful. I can only pray and hope and have faith that mm. one day he will change. But I decided that while he's changing, he's not for me. Yes. You understand? That's and in powerful. the journey of my pregnancy, that's when I started accepting my call, started opening my eyes, mm. started seeing things. And I, I realized that this relationship was never supposed to have happened from the start because... Mm. I fell in love with the gift, like I said. Mm, mm. But you are in no way saying the product, your your child that came out of that relationship mm. was a mistake. No. Yeah, no, not My at child all. was never a mistake. Mm. I knew what I was doing. I was not raped. Mm. I, I literally knew what I was doing. You know, so a child came because what when you did when you do that, that it's did. bound to happen. Mm. Yeah. So my child, I can never at any day say my son is a mistake. Amen to that. Mm. I love that. Mm. I love that. So <laughs> you've touched a lot. Mm. And I'm so glad we came to the issue of soul ties. Mm. So now this is you. You're now taking your work with God very mm. serious. Um, what are some of the things that God revealed about your life? Now you are regaining who you really are. Take mm. us through that journey. That journey... I don't want to even cry. <laughs> My makeup is so beautiful. Yeah, you are so stunning. <laughs> <laughs> so I accepted. Okay, then I went to God and told God that, listen, God, I surrender. Mm. I, 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 
listen, use me. I'm all yours. Yeah. When I was six months pregnant. Mm. Because I broke up with the father of my child when I was six months pregnant. Oh. Yes. And um, that's the time. Everything was just going south. Everything mm. was just going the wrong way, you know. And I remember I was offered a musical contract by one big company in South Africa. And when they found out that I was pregnant, thank God I was pregnant. Because I would be singing Buma Piano today. Yay, I would not for be, beat. you know. <laughs> I would be Ule Buma Tosa, Brenda mm. Fass, who knows. <laughs> but then when they found out that I was, I was pregnant, they then said, I, we cannot offer you this contract now. Oh. Because this, these are part of the things would require, so mm. we cannot. Mm. Then I was like, okay. And I, when I was six months, I then told God, listen, have me. Mm. Have me. I, I give myself to you now. Yeah. That's when I started. And I remember as pregnant as I was, I started going to a 5 a.m. prayer. Our pastor mm. had a 5 o'clock in the morning prayer. And then every service I was in church, mm. I used to pray for my child, lay the hands on my child. It was mm. not an easy pregnancy, I will not lie. Yeah. It was a very painful one. Painful journey, which I believe is a story for another day. Mm. And I'm going to be publishing my book. Every detail will be in my oh, book. Oh, yeah. Every step of a journey, every painful thing I went to. And mm. when I accepted God, God, I remember, said to me, I had a dream, and God said to me, if you want me to use you, allow me to break everything that you've built for yourself. Let, because I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna continue from where you left off. Mm. I'm not gonna continue from where the devil has left off. Mm. I want to rebuild you, according to. I'm. I want to align you. So in this journey, I lost friends. I lost relationships. Yeah. I lost connections. Mm. I lost people. Mm. I lost everything. I remember every time my phone rings. I know that it was my best friend. It's a mm. guy from, you know, my best friend from Tawu. Mm. Every time my phone rings, I would know it's her. <laughs> mm. I didn't have anybody else Ish. who used to call me. Very you sad. understand? Mm. And I'm really grateful for Pastor. I'm, I'm, I want to mention his name because I really need to be grateful to him. Amen. I want to be grateful to Pastor Kuno. Mm. Pastor Kuno was a very, Obagen Kuno was, mm. was my strength during that, that journey. Mm. He's the one that told me divine. God has called you. Yes. Accept your calling. And even now at this situation, you can still say yes to God. Amen. And he's the one that encouraged me to come for morning sessions. Mm. He's the one that stood in the church and defended me in the church. Oh, yes. You know, and, and he protected me. Mm. You know, and he told them that, listen, your kids are doing abortions. Divine, you're not going to bash divine because she decided to, to allow to keep the child. Mm. We are not saying what she did is right. Mm. But let's now not bash her. So I'm grateful to that man of God. So God took... Like God had to rebuild me from scratch mm. without nothing. I had no job. I had no contracting off. I had no gigs. I had no friends. I had nothing. And the second thing God told me is stay away from relationships mm. for five years. <laughs> for five years. Wow. And he told me no flirting, no sexual partners, yeah. no watching pornography, masturbating. Yeah. Listen, Nothing. Purity. be pure for the next coming five years of your life. You know, there's something that you touched that I mm. want us to talk about. Do you think the church is embracing pregnant women that decide to keep children? Mm, well, they oh, don't. They Actually, don't. they don't. They're still being treated like... They're still from? like... They're still they're like gay. Because I saw their daughters being told, hey, stay away from that Ish. one. You know, obviously, they're going to look at you as a bad influence, you mm. know. Um, and you can't blame them. I mean, you we also, you know, rabbit, alirina, you know. <laughs> I, you know, you can't really, really blame them, you mm. know. But at some point, they are mothers as well. Yeah, and these are sense. mothers in the church that also their children are out of wedlock. Mm. So as the journey goes, you know, the church is full of children out of wedlock. Yeah. You know. Mm. So as time goes, they, they calm down. They are mm. like... Some people, they come down, they're like, but even myself, three of my daughters, I'm married now, yes, but they are from wedlock. Mm. You know, they start having grace. I saw some mothers coming to me and they were like, you just need to pray that now you shouldn't repeat the same mistake again. Mm. 
mm. you understand and i saw mm. others obviously that stayed away from me mm. Mm. so like i said the church is individuals you know yeah. so people react differently in the church some will embrace you some will judge you mm. some will bash you so you experience different that's why church is so painful mm. at some point because people you have to deal away. you have to deal with characters after characters you know the minds after mind opinions is not one opinion mm. is 100 opinions you have to take in you understand so mm. yeah it's it's individuals it depends which kind of individuals you encounter mm. Mm. thank you for that um yeah thank you for touching the fact that the church needs to improve mm. some of those people who still call young girls who get pregnant demons i mm. mean we still have that in the body of christ mm. we still have that they need to go and confess on the mm. pulpit i think we need a better way of dealing with such molding them because i mean mm. coming to 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 end our conversation how was your mental health at that time when i was pregnant yes well you know it was I, you know, I can't really say. Mm. Like I said, I was blessed because I was not, I was, I was, I was out of my father's church. Yeah. So the people that I, my, my past, the pastor really called me and told me, listen, you're going to face this kind of people that will mm. judge you. And they judge you based on what they believe. You mm. understand? And they can, they are going to use the Bible to, 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 to judge you. And it's and you, valid. Mm. It, it's valid. You can't say they are wrong. It is mm. wrong to me. To conceive out of out of uh, wedlock, you know, but you're gonna have people that they say, you know what, it happened to me, mm. so I shouldn't judge this lady. Yeah, you're gonna have so the man of God just said, just now focus on the child mm. because you know it's critical. You 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 cannot stress. You cannot you know now go to God mm. and tell God, God, I I I learned and 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 I'm not gonna repeat the mistake again. And thank you. And then. Every judgment, every negative word that comes, take it as a learning curve. Yeah. You know, don't allow it to pull you down, mm -hmm. but just say, you know what? This is reminding me all the time that I must never do this uh, do this kind of thing again. Mm. Mm. So I think I was strong. I think I was, I was, I was, I had this, I had this, uh, the strong support wow. from, from the past and also from my family. Mm. My parents really supported me uh, after Thank the God. rebuke, after the, you know, obviously, but the, I, I had a strong support from home. Mm. Um, yeah. And also with the fact that the person who made me pregnant took responsibility and admitted that mm. it is me, it became easier. Oh, that's much mm. easier. Mm. So mm. what do you have to say to that young girl out there um, who doesn't have a support structure? Mm. Like who's dealing with a baby daddy, a born again brother, brr, mm. who is saying, I was not there. That child is a miracle. Mm. You understand? Because that is what happening. Mm. You are blessed because you dealt with um, parents who were like, you. It you, happened. It Let's ha support. You understand? Child. But mm. we still love you. You are mm. a daughter. Talk to that young girl out there who is so stranded. She's so scared. Some even commit suicide while they are pregnant. Mm. Let's give them hope. Mm. Okay. What I can say to a young girl out there you are in the steps that I've, I've been. Um, I understand that you can say it's a mistake, mm. right? Or you can say that if it's a mistake, just tell yourself that I'm going to learn from this mistake mm. and I'm going to embrace my past oh, because yes. your past is there as a reference to teach you for where you are going. Mm. And now you, can, you have an opportunity to do things right. Yes. The fact that you're still alive it's, a, it's, it's, it's proof enough that God still wants to mold you. God still has a space for you. Mm. God is still saying, listen, bring yourself. God said, come as we are. Yes. Come as, as pregnant as you are. Mm. And then I can, God can give you new people that can support you. Oh, yes. The church is not the same. You have the people in the church that are good people mm. that can stand with you. So oh, yes. never ever lose sight or or you know affect your whole future because of one single mistake that you did mm. if god can do it for me he can still do it for you Amen. if god can teach you a lesson out of your mistake god can still even even if you study the bible great servants of god were learning from their mistakes That's right. none of them was perfect do not kill that child because of you fear people mm. god already sees that you are pregnant oh yes you know and that child might be a blessing tomorrow mm. you understand so so now accept that this is the state that I am, but listen, start thinking of the future. Amen. But I can tell
tell you, use that as something that motivates you to be a better person. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. She has spoken. The queen has spoken. Thank you so much for this conversation. Oh, my of God. I wish we could talk for hours. You know what? <laughs> Please tell her we want her back. The <laughs> minute she, you're coming. like, really. I'm definitely coming Thank you back. so much. Mm. We are blessed to have women of God that God has restored, you know. Where can people find you? Oh, I, I use one name on all social media platforms. Okay. Uh, I go by the name King Divine Ministries. Oh. So Divine is D. I don't know why people write Divine as D. It's not D. It's D I V I N E. Yes. <laughs> so King Divine Ministries on TikTok, on mm. Facebook, on Instagram. Oh, That's okay. where they can find me. But I'm mostly on TikTok now because. There is a lot yeah, on TikTok. TikTok is a game changer. It's really hungry for the weight. Mm, mm. Thank you that's so where much. People can find me, and also they can find me abroad. Oh okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean that's a given. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like that because we are now connected to people abroad. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love your spirit. Thank you so much. You know, thank you for making time for mm. us. Mm. And if you have watched until this far. Please make sure you follow this woman of God on all her social media platforms and then follow your queen. I mean, you need to know more about this woman. I mean, come on. I mean, really. Until we meet you again. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>